everybody, it's your Beauty 87 here, and today we're gonna get to an eye look with the Jackie Anna X ABH palette. I got a request to do this, the Vintage Rose and the Fenty one. So I already did the Fenty one and the um Vintage Rose. So the last one I had to do was Jackie's palette. So I mainly use like the purple and the pinky tones in here. Yesterday when I did, I got to do Laura Last Eye. I'm working all that because I had shot my other videos, but I had the brightness on my camera too high, so you couldn't even see like any of the stuff I was doing. So I figured I would go ahead and try it over again. So today I'm just gonna do the same look, but you know, whatever. Um, I got Wiggly Supreme Pinker and Big Wig are the colors I used. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna use Big Wig today or not. Oh, and I use Soleil and Zam for my in the corner, if you will. So I'll go ahead and get started with those. Um, I forgot to bring my glitter glue in here though, so I don't know how well that's gonna work out when I get to that part. But if I remember correctly, I didn't need glitter glue for this look. It was some other looks I had did I needed glitter glue for, so. Like I said, we'll just wait till we get there and see what happens then. Um, crap, what brush did I start off with? I'm going to start off with this ColourPop blending brush just to put down um, the Supreme color. Because that's the one I put like all in the crease. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, now I'm actually doing both eyes on camera, which is weird. Because I normally only do one. But I figured since I'm flipping my phone now, I can go ahead and do both eyes on camera. So I started by blending both of these like into the crease. And then I put the um, pinker shade more on the outer V, if you will. So I'm trying to sit on the edge of the couch so you can see a little better what I'm doing. Because I had somebody tell me in the latte palette they wish I had been like, the lens had been closer up. It's like I haven't ordered a new lens yet. I have been meaning to do it, but it's on my to-do list. But since I had mainly been filming my living room recently on my phone, I didn't need you know the lens as badly but sometimes i have to go film in the room so i just need to remember to go ahead and you know get a um lens i've seen a couple of them that other youtubers have sold since they have updated their um software so i'm thinking about just buying one from them i, I found one on depop for like 75 bucks and it was like way it got way closer than mine it does that i have right now so I mean, I might invest in it this weekend. I have to see because I have a couple of bills I need to pay. And, you know, bills come before YouTube at the end of the day because YouTube doesn't pay any of my bills and I got to pay them myself. So I'm thinking maybe the next paycheck, not this one, but the next one coming up, I will go ahead and, you know, like get it then. If you hear any noises in the background, Adrian came over and insisted on being here with me. And you know how 10 years are. They're loud and wouldn't think about themselves. So. But anyway, um, like I said, I'm just blending this pinker shade in it. And I actually have two brushes we need to compare to each other. So we're going to go ahead and do that as well today. We're going to go ahead and um, use the, um, I have a, a new Sigma, um, what is it? I think it's Detail Diffuse Crease Brush. And then I have a Detail Crease Brush by e.l.f. That I've had for a while. And I was like, hmm, I think it'd be interesting to compare both of these. So we're going to do that today. So here is the elf detail crease brush this is what it looks like and then this is the sigma detail diffused crease brush and as you can see they don't look exactly the same but i wanted to give you an idea of you know like what they look like now this one I, if i remember correctly like four bucks and this one i think is like 16 17 y'all know um sigma is pretty expensive so i'm gonna start off with the sigma one because i already know what the um elf one does and then i'll tell you like my thoughts on it or whatever but i'm just just gonna take pinker in the outer v with this sigma e4 e33 which is the detail diffuse crease i wanted the um mini detail i mean the detail blending brush but that one was always sold out and i'm like i don't know if they discontinued it or what because i haven't seen it anymore and i tried to buy when they had to sell when all the brush eye brushes was like 10 bucks i was like yeah i'll get this one i'll get the other one and i'll compare oh this brush is nice and soft and it's giving me a nice payoff if you will And it's getting a nice little detail and work in for this darker color in the outer V's. I had it yesterday where I did like half of the um, color of pinker and then half the color was supreme. So I'm trying to get it back to that today. But we'll see. Mm. 
Yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. It looks pretty accurate to the way I had it yesterday. Put a little bit more in this part right here. Yeah, a little bit more. I just need to make sure when I cut it that I remember not to um, cut off too much of the end piece. The last time I did it, I cut off too much of the end. And then I was feeling some type of way because, like, this side was uneven to this side when it came to, like, the vampiness of the outer corner. Because, believe it or not, y'all, yesterday I did a halo with this look. So, anyway, so that brush printed out really nicely. Um, it gave me really nice detail about in the V here where I wanted it to be. So, now we're going to take the detail crease brush by Elf and use the color pink on the other side and see how that works. So, so I'm going to go ahead and start off right in there. And then I like to kind of swoop and just swoop right there and I'm gonna turn my head this way so y'all can see better um, so I just make a little like little V shape and do the windshield wiper circular motions if you will to blend out the color Yeah, so I'm satisfied with the way both of those look. They both blended out pretty nicely. I do like the fact that the Sigma one has a more pointed end on it. As you can see, like this end of this is pointed. Let me turn it this way. It's pointed here. And the Elf one isn't pointed. But it's still good for detail work. Like you could um, use it as you saw. I use it on both sides and it looks just fine. But now we're going to go ahead and cut the crease. And then we will put the star of the show Wigglies in the center. And do our little halo situation that I've been talking about this entire time. So... I then just concentrate that like directly in the middle here. So I'm gonna do one eye at a time. I'm not gonna, not gonna overwhelm myself. I'm gonna end up brown and not sit in the way I want to sit because I tried to rush and you know do it. But I figured I'd do this eye first since this is the one I struggled with yesterday. Hopefully we'll have a better day today. I've been trying to upload the Bite um, Beauty Foundation review for the longest time, y'all, and it is not cooperating. Like, I'm trying to say, I've been trying to upload this video for, like, the last three days via my phone, and it does not do it. This is something I definitely did not miss about using my phone when it comes to doing things like that, because it's like, when I used to use my phone, um, I had these same difficulties. And it used to take me days to try to put videos up for y'all. Anyway. Let me go ahead with this It Cosmetics brush. This is a crease brush, but I'm going to use it to put the color Wigglies on the lid that we just put over the halo stuff. So I'm just nicely stamp it. And, you know. Yeah, so I'm stamping and stamping. I'm going to um, put some more color just to blend it out and make it look more even because I feel like it looks a little rounded right now. So that's not going to work. And that's I need to put some stuff in the inner corner. But yeah, so I'm going to take the color Soleil and start off with that one for the inner corner. And the wind is like howling outside here in Chicago today, y'all. I'm trying to so put Soleil on top of it and then put the color Zam on top of that to get some extra brightness going on. So, yeah, I'm feeling it. It's a vibe. We'll go ahead and blend out pinker a little bit. Since this is the brush we use pinker with, I'm just going in and blending with that. And then I'm going to take this detail brush since this is the I've used this brush with. Blend that out some more. And then I'll take, um, you know, a clean brush and try to blend everything together smoothly, nice a little later on. Right now, we're just trying to focus on what we got going on right now, which is this halo situation. We have done that. And this is how the eye is looking. I think it looks nice. I'm going to go ahead and take, you know, a little, some cute little pictures. This is actually decent outside today. And, you know, get that done. But right now, I'm just going to go ahead and do um, the middle of the lid and make the halo for this side so we can go on with this eye look. Because I still got two more eye looks to do, y'all. And I'm like, ooh, child. Then I still got a fight with trying to get them uploaded and then go to the computer and add my thumbnail pictures and all that stuff. So, whole nother situation, y'all. Whole nother situation. So, 
Okay, look, that's enough right there. There you go. So, so you cut that grease. Now let's go ahead and put wigglies on this side to match. And then we'll start blending that out and put our inner corner in. And then I will take some pictures. My son's just opening chips, y'all. It's fine. If you hit a chip bag, you hit a chip bag. He's 10 and he just ate lunch, so he wants his chips with his lunch. So be it. I'm taking the color Soleil now. I'm putting that in the inner corner. And then I'm taking the color Zam. And... Putting that in the inner corner on top. Because I thought that was just a pretty combination because you get the peachy tone underneath it, but then you get more of the bright, bronzy-ish type situation on top for the girls who like that. And then you still get brightness with it. So that's why personally I did it. Now we're going to take the same brush. On this side, we use pinker for both sides. So we take it on this side. Blend that out nicely. Then I'm going to take the Sigma Detail brush we use and use the color pinker what well, i didn't add any color but you know what i mean like blend out the color pinker and that will be cool so that's pretty much the finished eye look when i did it before i had put um what do you call it? i put big wig on the lower lash line like right up underneath it and then i put supreme right underneath that and then um i had the color alkaline in my waterline but anyway this is finished look you guys i hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all are diamonds and i'll see you in the next one i'm trying to take some cute pictures real quick and and all that. Bye.